You may have been startled in the past to see mold growing in your microgreens and not knowing what to do. Stay tuned because by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what to do when you see mold and how to remedy it quickly and safely. For the best microgreens content, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell. That way you get notified every Tuesday when I come out with a new microgreens video at 2 p.m. At this point, I rarely encounter problems with mold, but every once in a while, I will see a little bit in a tray. I never sanitize my seeds, but have instead kept my business resilient to mold by using techniques and tactics that I mentioned in my previous microgreens mold videos. Even though I don't experience these problems anymore, I still keep a few tricks up my sleeve just in case I happen to see some mold in a microgreens tray. So stay tuned because I'm about to show you exactly what I do in my farm to fix and remedy mold when it appears. The best way to combat mold is to never have it show up in the first place. So be sure to watch my previous microgreens videos, which I'll link above. Even if you're super careful and take the advice that I gave in my previous videos, chances are you still will encounter mold from time to time. So let me share with you right now what to do in case it does appear. One of the most prominent places you'll see mold is right after germination because the trays of microgreens have been in an environment that has high humidity, high temperature, and low airflow. This is the same climate that mold thrives in, so it's no surprise that you can experience mold when you're taking your trays out of germination. When I see this happen, I actually do nothing different. I simply take the trays out of germination, put them under the lights, and I make sure to top water right away, right over the mold and the sprouted seeds. The top watering actually damages the mold colonies, and now that they're in your main grow room under the lights, the airflow is gonna prevent the colonies from forming again. If your grow room has proper environmental controls, specifically airflow, chances are this technique will do the trick. If the mold happens to bounce back and you still have an issue, there's two other things that you can do to further combat this problem. The first is simply by removing the clump of soil where the mold is growing and then adding more soil to fill in the hole and then a little bit more to go above that area so that way the mold can't keep spreading across the surface of your growing medium. If you catch the mold early when there's only a small section of your tray where the microgreens are kind of falling in from that mold, chances are you'll be able to save the tray and you'll have a decent harvest later on. Comment below and let me know what you typically do when you see mold appear in your microgreens trays. The second method is using some sort of sanitizing agent like a food grade hydrogen peroxide and spraying that over the problem area. I've also heard of people using a diluted vinegar solution and using it in the same way. Just don't use something like bleach because obviously you and your customers do not want that anywhere near their food. I use a product called Xerotol 2.0, which is actually a food grade hydrogen peroxide, which is also certified for organic growing. I typically use this product on an ongoing basis for sanitizing trays and equipment, but it can be used to remedy mold and fungus as well. I'll put a link below in the description so you can use it for yourself, but just be careful. It can burn your skin in its concentrated form straight out of the jug and is meant to be diluted with water before use. Also, the price may seem expensive, but the jug of Xerotol that I bought three years ago when I first started is actually the same jug I'm still using. It comes in a concentrated form that you're diluting, so it'll last you a very long time. The last way to combat mold is to simply harvest above it. I sometimes get mold in my wheatgrass right at the end of the growing process when it's ready for harvest, but it's manageable and stays low towards the base of the plants. So what I do is I just harvest a little bit higher so I can avoid the mold. So there you have it, four different ways that you can fix and remedy mold when it appears in your microgreens. You might still be worried about mold even after watching all my microgreens mold videos or maybe you just have some different questions. So join my microgreens support group on Facebook. That way you can post pictures, ask questions and get the help you need. Your mold situation might just be root hairs. So watch the video below to learn more about that or watch the other video to learn how to prevent mold from forming in your microgreens in the first place. That way you don't have to worry about it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with your friends so they can know how to fix and remedy their mold as well. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.